Hi, Andrew Chris is here with Audio Bro. This is the second video covering our new key switch feature contained in the ARC and LA Scoring Strings 2. The first video covers basic key switching, while in this video we're going to be covering Contact's instrument banks alongside ARC's key switch feature. Many people are not aware of Contact's powerful instrument banks, while others simply couldn't live without them. We find instrument banks so easy to use and offer so much flexibility for large templates that we decided to include instrument bank support in our key switch feature. So let's get started uh, by simply uh, creating a, a very simple instrument bank key switch setup here in LA Scoring Strings 2. What you do in instrument banks is you go up to this top menu right up here and you just say load instrument, new instrument bank right here. So now we've loaded a new instrument bank right here. Click on the monkey wrench and you'll see all of these slots. We call them slots. Basically, you can drag patches into these slots. Now, notice A1 here. This is bank A, which is the one through 16, MIDI channel one. And um, our key switcher supports that. So what we do is, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna populate this instrument bank with patches. Very simply, we'll just open up LA Scoring Strings 2. Let's go to, um, let's open up a sustain patch, cellos B, drop it in there like that. So now we have a cellos um, sustain non vibrato vibrato patch in the first slot. Now let's take a, I don't know, pizzicato patch. Let's go to pizzicatos um, and load a cellos B pizzicato in the second slot. And let's do a spiccato in the third slot. And let's take um, tremolo in the fourth slot. How about that? So now we have slots one, two, three, four populated with these different patches inside one instrument bank, in, which is there. And they're all assigned to MIDI channel one. So we're going to go to our setup page. And we're gonna say, okay, on MIDI channel one and slot one, see this right up here, you say slot one. And if you actually, if you scroll with these, if you go to scroll, slot two, you'll see on the bottom, it updates at slot two. If you go to slot three, it updates to slot three. And uh, so on. So we go to slot one, we wanna populate our setup with cellos B. So we go like this, cellos B. And we have a legato patch. And slot two, it's MIDI channel one. We go to cellos B pizzicato. So we have cellos B pizzicato. And slot three, MIDI channel one. We have cellos B spiccato. And there you are. And a four, we have cellos, celli, uh, B, tremolos. So there you go. So now we've set up on each one of our slots on MIDI channel one, and you can have up to 32 on the key switcher. We've set this up. So now all we have to do is go to our key switch page right here and select, uh, we'll, we'll choose MIDI channel one, because we're on MIDI channel one here. So MIDI channel A1, so we'll just choose A1 because we're doing the instrument banks. And I have the deep, the, the bottom key set to C0, so let's put this one here like this. Legatos, pizzicatos, spiccatos, tremolos. So now, when I key switch on the different different um, notes, I can trigger different patch changes. So here we have a uh, legato and pizzicato, spiccato, and tremolos. Very simple. Now, once you've done that, you can say, okay, now what about if I want to load it some more on uh, another instrument bank and put it on MIDI channel two. Well, you can do that. Let's do that right now. So here we go. We're going to load another instrument bank, an empty one. 
And let's just say, uh, let's load in, uh, let's do some violins. So violins, B trem. Oh, actually, we have to open this up first. So here we go. Violins, B trems here. And let's go to a spiccato. Violins, B spiccatos here. And just because they sound different, let's go to pizzicatos, violins, B. Here, pizzicato. So now we have three patches on MIDI channel two on slot one, two, and three of MIDI channel two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our, our setup and we're going to, in MIDI channel two, slot one, we have to assign the violins. So we're just gonna say violins, violins one, B. And we're gonna put trem, tremolos. And in slot two, on MIDI channel two, we have violins, B spiccato. So violins, B, spiccato. Once you've seen this, I mean, you're probably getting bored right now watching this video because it's, you know, repetition. Violins, B, pizzicato. So violins, B, pizzicato. But this is a very important step because once you set this up, all of your arc now knows what's contained in your, in your setup. So when you go into these other pages, uh, just to you know, give you an example, if you go to Real Legato and you drop down this menu here, you'll see you have the violins one, the celli, and the different sections that you've loaded in, it keeps track of everything. So it's now it's very easy to assign changes to all your different sections and articulations. So let's go back to uh, this key switch. So let's go now and set up a, sep a different set, set B. Set B, we're gonna set to MIDI channel two. And we're gonna say the first one. Actually, we're gonna put this to C0, because I like it to be on C0, MIDI channel two. And we're gonna have, oops, no, we're gonna put violins, trem on the first, spiccato on the second, and pizzicato on the third. So now, if I go to MIDI channel two on my, on my DAW, and I press the first key switch, and I play a note, you'll hear it be tremolos. Here we go. Now if I press this one, we have spiccato and pizzicato. So there you go. So that's how you can use instrument banks in your, in your template using the arcs key switch feature. Uh, you can take advantage of all sorts of RAM benefits by using the different banks up here. If you look at the top here, and those are banks would be uh, denoted uh, up here. You can you can choose the different banks in your in your setup when you load your patches in. So you can you can use all sixty four MIDI channels in your instance of contact. So stay tuned for other videos. Uh, this should cover the basics of how to use instrument banks in in contact alongside with uh, the LA Scoring Strings Two. And I hope you found this valuable. Thank you very much.